Look, I know. I, I'm just going to come out and say it. If you're going to be this big, you can at least pay some bills around here. What's up, you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here, and I am back with another Funko Pop video. Yes, I know it has been a while since I've uploaded a Funko Pop video. Like I said in the video before, I am going through a Funko Pop depression, kind of, because honestly, not that much is coming out. I've condensed the collection. If you haven't seen that video already, where I'm condensing the collection, uh, I started getting rid of stuff that basically isn't anime or doesn't fit my collection at all. But honestly, Funko Pops kind of getting boring right now not saying the Funko Pops are whack or anything but honestly the things that I collect really ain't coming out so guess what gotta find something new to collect but today today I got I gotta thank my my homie Nick from GameStop because he, he hooked me up he had one extra all might now I know I could have pre-ordered this bad boy and secured me one but let's be real a lot of us ain't pre-ordering pops like that at GameStop so I didn't pre-order one there was four coming there was only three pre-ordered my boy hooked me up with it and I gotta say thank you, Nick. Big shout out to you because if you didn't do that, hey, I wouldn't have got this bad boy and it wouldn't be on this video for everybody else to see it. But before we get into the video, before we talk about this 10 inch All Might, I gotta say shout out to my returning viewers slash subscribers for all the love and support y'all give me. And shout out to the new viewers and new subscribers as well. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and that post notification bell. That way you know whenever I post a new video. And don't forget to follow your boy on Instagrizzle. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, follow your boy. Also, follow me on Twitch where you can see live anime reactions and join the live anime watch parties. And don't forget to join my public Discord for collectors and nerds all alike because you are a collector or a nerd or else you wouldn't be watching this video unless you just love me that much. But all the links for that will be in the description down below. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Now we got this bad boy. This is the 10 inch All Might part of the My Hero Academia line. If you guys that I know, I do like My Hero Academia. Not the biggest fan, but I do like My Hero nonetheless. Pretty simple anime, pretty cool anime. If you want a starter anime, I believe it's the perfect starter anime. The way it's paced and the characters, you'll be able to get into it or you'll easily relate to some of the characters in there. The one thing I do like about My Hero is basically some of the writing and some of the character development that they have with each of the characters because I feel like it's a better version of Naruto. It's either becoming that. But Nonetheless, this is All Might. He is basically a mentor uh, character towards Deku who inherits his power of all for one or one for all, basically, where he takes a piece of his hair, gives it to Deku, and he basically has superhuman abilities like super speed, kind of, and super strength, super durability, and things like that. But this is All Might, voiced by Christopher Sabat in the English dub, because y'all know I'm dub gang, obviously. But this character right here, literally one of my favorite characters, aside from Mirio Togata. Mirio Togata is my favorite character, but this bad boy right here, he is super dope. He is super huge. Like, look at this. Like, my head is pretty big, and you know this is pretty big. One thing I do like about the 10-inch pops that Funko does put out is the backgrounds that they put out with the characters. Kind of fits the theme of the actual anime. Like, right here, it has, like, this little backdrop right here. It has this, basically, in the back of the pop, which I think is pretty dope. And I like the fact that on this pop, it actually has a different pose compared to the other All Mights. Now, we do have a lot of variants of Deku and All Might, but they are prevalent characters within the show. Surprisingly, we only have two ver two versions of Bakugo, though. So, I don't know what to say about that, but this is All Might, basically. And I think he deserved a 6-inch pose, but he didn't deserve a 10-inch. Now, I'm glad that the 10-inch is at least a different pose. I really don't have too many gripes with 10-inch ten ten pose, besides the fact, well, they take up so much space in your room, wherever you at. Because look at this. Those are six inches that are basically hitting the ceiling. Where am I gonna put this? I don't know, but you guys know if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber that I am a completionist, but this bad boy is sick. Let me go ahead and get him out the box real quick. Whew. All right, so now that we got him out the box, I gotta say, this bad boy is super dope. He feels like a huge toy. Like, I feel like a big kid with this bad boy. But let's look at this real quick. I definitely love the sculpt on this, his action pose, because if you're a returning viewer slash subscriber, you guys know that I do like my action poses in my pops. I gotta say that the pose that he has, the, the fact that he's ready to hit somebody, and usually with All Mights, they're kind of... Uh, they're kind of different from other pops because usually pops don't have a mouth, but this All Might does because I feel like it's significant to his character to smile as his usual hairstyle. He just feels huge. Pause. He feels huge, but pause. I like the way his uh, muscle definition is. They got my boy Gluteus Maximus on point as well. My boy is my boy is fit. He looking like the symbol of America over here, but I got to say he's super dope. I mean, I have no other complaints about this really besides it being a 10 inch, but out of the box, I feel like 10 inches really excel when being out the box or displaying them out the box because obviously they don't take up much room with the box and all that but this is a super dope pop 
I really have no complaints with it. It feels like a it feels like a big statue type of thing happening. You can look at his little fingers. Like you can kind of hold his fingers a little bit. Like, oh my, I'm I'm here for you. You you ain't gotta cry. Have no fear. I am here. But this is a super dope pop right here. The mold is pretty dope on the back too. His hair is kind of flowing, kind of like a little action pose. Like the wind is flowing, like he's getting ready to hit somebody. His hair is flowing. Guys, say it's super dope. Like I'm look, you can even see me sweating. Like I'm a little nervous being next to all my this big. Pause. Like I said again, but this is a super dope pop, guys. I have no complaints with it. I obviously will put this on a turntable and spin it around, but obviously I don't have a turntable this big enough to uh, actually pose the pop on, but this is his outfit basically. This is how he looks. I think he looks super dope, like out of the box. 10 inch pops are really meant to be out of the box. Like if you have them in the box, obviously, you know, like me, like I don't really have room to display all my pops like that. I mean, I got room technically, but I got other figures as well, but this is a super dope pop, guys. Definitely love the coloration of the everything. The paint job, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. Like, look right here next to his little gauntlet. Like, his skin tone is bleeding towards uh, his little gauntlet, basically. Definitely like the way he feels muscular. He looks muscular. This is the embodiment of All Might. This is a pretty dope pop. Gotta say, 10-inch pops, they're all right, but uh, his head has a little articulation. Not too much in case you wanted to pose him like that or in case you wanted to pose him like that. Nothing too crazy. He he do got the drip on fleek though. Like he got this one tailored by Gucci itself. Like, don't worry, I talked to him about it. But that's about it for the video, guys. This is a pretty dope pop, pretty big pop as well. I got other 10 inches, which is the uh Pokemon ones, which Funko was killing with the 10 inch uh, variants of anything. I'm surprised they didn't make this a regular four inch and a 10 inch, and the 10 inch be an exclusive, which the I, Funko, no. I don't want this to be an exclusive or anything. I'm not saying that. I'm just surprised that they didn't do it, but let me know what you think about this pop down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on 10 inch pops in general. Let me know what you think about the My Hero Academia line, basically, of Funko that Funko's producer. I know the line is really getting delayed heavily right now. And honestly, I'm kind of happy only because I don't got to spend that money right now. But let me know what you talk about, think about this pop down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And like I say, thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.